Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in today's video, we're going to be going through a day in the life of 75 Heart. If you don't know what 75 Heart is, it was a challenge created by Andy Frisella, and essentially what it is, is you have to do two workouts per day for 75 days, as well as eating a healthy diet, so you can pick your diet of choice. You also have to drink four liters of water, you can't drink alcohol or have cheap meals, and you also have to read 10 pages per day, as well as taking a progress picture. So I've been doing this now for currently as i'm recording this intro it's day 74 so we're almost finished up but the day in the life was recorded i think back on like day 53 or so i said somewhere within this video but i just thought i'd share this video i've had a really good experience doing the challenge i'd tried it once before probably about two years ago but failed on like day 20 or something so i'm pretty happy with myself for sticking with it for this long getting to day 74 hopefully we can make it until tomorrow and wrap this thing up but you can see here some of the progress that i've made over kind of that 75 day period and just kind Kind of some other things that have been really good is just like general productivity not drinking on the weekends means i can kind of do some stuff on sundays not dying in bed which has been great anyway let's go ahead and jump into this video if you do enjoy it you want to see some more of this style of content i think i'm going to upload some more of this style of content over on my second channel so you can check that out in the description if you do enjoy it hit that like button hit subscribe if you're new here and let's jump in to a day in 75 so currently it is about 6 46 or so I'm just up out of bed. I usually get up about half six since I've started doing this. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I've just filled up my water bottle. Normally, first thing in the morning, pretty much every morning, I go for a walk, get that first workout out of the day. So I'm gonna feed this little guy over here, get him some food, and then we're gonna go for a walk. Say hello, buddy. So got him fed, he's eaten. I'm gonna go ahead and just put together a coffee in this stupid looking cup right here. I don't know where mine went, so rocking with this one for now. I'm gonna fill this up, get a coffee in it, and then head out, get that 45 minute walk in. I do pods for this boy, which is pretty annoying, because I do like it, it's quite nice. To make it the old fashioned way. Milo, ready to go walkies? Want to go walkies? Get your lead on. Get your lead on. So that's workout one finished up. It's now 7.44. So what I'm gonna do now is grab some breakfast. Pretty much eat two things for breakfast every single day throughout this challenge. One of them is just Weetabix, four Weetabix in a bowl, some milk. It's like 400 calories. The diet that I've been following for the program is to go ahead and be in a calorie deficit every single day. So I'm not super, super strict on you know what I can eat. I can pretty much eat whatever I want. I've been avoiding fast food. I've been avoiding alcohol, obviously, but I can eat pretty much anything else. I've really just dialed in my diet so I know pretty much exactly what each meal is for calorie wise each day. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my breakfast and then I'll show you guys some of the meals that I've been making for lunch and dinner later on in the video. Using this scale from about the 1900s, Battery died in this bad boy, so go on the old fashioned way. So for breakfast, super, super easy. We've just got some Greek yogurt. Gonna put 200 grams of that in a bowl, and then we're gonna put some granola in there. So this is the granola. It's a strawberry and raspberry one. Pretty nice, but super, super calorie dense. I didn't realize I used to eat this like years ago and think, oh, it's super healthy, but pretty much like 50 grams is like 200 cows. So we're gonna stick that in, get it up to about 50. So that's breakfast right there. Really, really simple meal, Tex. Just a couple of minutes to make. This guy is absolutely soaking. Say hello, buddy. Oh, it's gonna go nuts. So, I'm gonna go ahead, get this eaten up, and then grab a shower. Pretty much should be done 
all of that about quarter past eight. Then I'm gonna head to the shop and get an energy drink. Probably drink too many of them, but I do like it and it does help me suppress my appetite throughout the day. So I'm gonna grab one of them and then come back and get into some work. Get some work done for the day and then we'll take you along, show you a little bit of the work maybe. And next thing I'm gonna be doing is going to the gym. So that'll be workout number two. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about water reading and stuff like that later in the video. Just before we go and get a shower, let's talk about water a little bit. I know this is one of the biggest things that people seem to struggle with during this challenge is getting water down. Because obviously it's like four liters is a gallon of water. That's a lot of water. That's a lot. But what I did, and I think it has definitely helped me, is getting one of these. It's like a gallon bottle. I just got it off Amazon. And you can see here it's got like different times where you should be. I'm never along that track because... I mean, usually later in the day when I'm at the gym, I'll drink probably like two liters of water maybe, or maybe like a liter and a half in the gym, which takes a huge chunk out of it. Uh, after a run or something like that, I'll take a big chunk out of it. But I'm also drinking like you guys seen, I drank a coffee on my morning walk. I'll have an energy drink here as well. So I'm probably drinking up to five, six liters a day. Um, I've always drank quite a lot. So this part hasn't been too bad for me, but I definitely think having that bottle is key. If I didn't have that bottle, you know, everywhere I go, sitting at my desk with me, if I had to come downstairs and like pour a glass of water and drink 10 glasses of water a day, I definitely wouldn't get that done. I wouldn't get that in. So I think having everything in one bottle is the way to go. So that is me all charred up, ready to go for the day. It is now 8.25, so gonna go in, get one of those energy drinks, Again, pretty bad, but is what it is. Gonna go and grab that, and then we'll get on with the day. So, just back in, got a little black monster right here. Didn't have the ones that I can only drink greens. I drank the red monster, didn't have either. So we've had to pick up this. I think it's a cherry flavor, so we'll see how this tastes. But it's now about 8.45. You can see it over here, and if it focuses. So we're gonna go ahead, get started in some work here. I had a company messaged me a couple of days ago. They're looking for me to check out their app. It does photo editing. It does uh, like AI kind of changes to images. So if you guys watch my channel normally, just for my normal content, you know we do some print on demand stuff. So I'm gonna check it out, see if the tool's any good. If it is any good, what I'm gonna do is play around with it for an hour. So create a video for you guys. So you might actually see that video before you see this one. Um, so I'll go ahead, I'll check it out. Hopefully it's good. Apparently it changes photos. So if you wanna do like pencil effect photos, you wanna do cartoonized photos, it has an AI. Hopefully it's a good AI that works well. Uh, so you could go ahead and use that, do customized photos for people with print on demand. Uh, and do really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out and see if it's worthy of a video. And then I'll probably get back to you guys in around lunchtime or so and we'll check out that lunch meal that we go ahead and eat. So coming on to lunchtime, I've got a little bit of work done, but it's time for meal number two of today. It's about 20 past 12, getting a little bit hungry. So gonna see what we've got in the kitchen. Normally I eat pretty much like cooked chicken and in a wrap with a little bit of light mayo and cheese. However, I think we're out of chicken and also out of wraps. So we're gonna have to cook something a little bit different today. So I'm gonna go down, see what we've got and whip up something. I might have to go to the shop. Uh, and grab some wraps or something like that. So just went and grabbed some wraps, also got some peppers. Um, we're gonna make just some fajita style wraps. So you can see here, got the wraps, a little bit of chicken, just raw chicken. Uh, got onions, mushroom, and peppers. I'm just gonna whip these up real quick, easy lunch. It's like 600 cows and it keeps me under my, my maintenance. It keeps me under my maintenance, so I'll talk more about what exactly my maintenance and stuff is in a bit, but let's go ahead and whip this up. Uh, I'll make something, something tasty for lunch. Pretty nice sized burrito, fills me up, about 600 cows. I'll put the exact on the screen once I knock it into to my fitness pal. But I'm gonna eat this and then do a bit more work 
and then it's time for the gym. So it's now nearly five o'clock or so, and I finished up most of my work that I needed to get done this afternoon. So what I'm gonna do now is get a little home workout in here in the home gym. Pretty much do all my workouts in here, and there's three types of workouts that I've mainly been doing over the course of 75 hard. So currently, I don't even think I've told you this video, I think we're on day 53 right now, so about two thirds of the way through. I'm honestly really, really enjoying it so far. So three type of workouts I've been doing, obviously we seen this morning, I went, did that little walk, 45 minutes, just get it in. Super easy, it's not too taxing, it's not gonna take anything out of you. Whereas if you're trying to like run twice a day or hit the gym twice a day or do hit workouts twice a day, probably gonna get burnt out really, really quick. So the walks really help. Earlier in this, in days like 1 to 30, I was going pretty hard because I've got a marathon on Sunday. It's now Thursday, so I've got a marathon coming up here this week, and I'd been training really, really hard for that, putting in like 65, 70 kilometers per week training for that. So obviously that took up a lot of my workouts. I was either running pretty, there was one day of the week where I ran and did the gym, and then the other days I would do gym and a walk or run and a walk. And that was essentially what I was doing, running, doing the gym, and walking. So now I've been the last three weeks kind of tapering for the marathon. So I've still been running, but doing less miles uh, and really been feeling the gym a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead, bash out a workout right here uh, in this. I pretty much have two workouts that I do, and I'll share some of this stuff with you guys in an upcoming video. I wanted to do like a transformation video because I've been so strict, things have been going pretty well and I'm probably in the best shape that I've ever been in. So I'm probably gonna do like a transformation video. If you guys do wanna see that, go to the first link in the description of this video and there'll be a link to my second channel where I posted a couple of videos last year, but I wanna start posting more over there and especially at the end of this. So I'm gonna be releasing that video over on that channel if you do wanna follow along with that sort of stuff. So as I said, Gonna bash this out, I've been doing full body workouts. I've got like two workouts that I do. Uh, if you guys wanna see them, I can put them on the screen here. But they're essentially the two workouts that I do three times a week, sometimes four. I've been up in it since I lowered down the marathon training. So yeah, pretty much doing them two workouts flat out, and I'm about to hit one right now. So let's go ahead, jump in. So I'm now back from my workout. It is now about like 8 p.m. I didn't spend that whole time working out. Obviously, uh, I had a couple of things to do. So I'm just into the house, about to eat my third meal of the day. I haven't ate anything since uh, lunchtime when I had that wrap slash sort of fajita. We're gonna cook something up now, I'm gonna cook some pasta. This is pretty much one of the meals that I've been eating pretty solidly throughout this. Uh, pretty much it, burrito bowls, and the wraps at lunchtime. Uh, so what we're gonna make now is tuna pasta. It's super simple. Pasta in a pan, tuna out of a can, and some light mayo, and a little bit of cheese. It's super easy to make. I absolutely love it, and it's cheap as chips. So let's go ahead, and cook that up, eat that, and that is pretty much us done for today, that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got some reading to do, obviously. I uh, gotta get them 10 pages in. In terms of water, we're now at this point right here, so we've fairly like got the water levels down. Um, so yeah, it's actually not that hard to do this. Once you get into the routine, um, it's actually pretty easy if you've got foods that you like. I've done diets in the past where I've been trying to do stuff that is just too hard, like keto. I tried keto and it's just not sustainable. I know some people can sustain it, but for me, it is not sustainable at all. So I've found like three meals that I really, really like in terms of lunch and dinner. Breakfast, I like, some days I'll have cereal. Normally I'll have some granola, some days I'll have Weetabix, and some days I'll mix it up with a little bit of cereal. But the diet itself that I'm following is just, it's simple. Being a calorie deficit, try and hit my protein goal every day. And that's pretty much it. It's been super, super easy to follow. I haven't, you know, had too many cravings or anything. Some days I'll eat protein. And then this is a lifesaver. I essentially love Pringles, but this here, popcorn, you can eat a full bag of this, 100 grams for like 400 calories. So it's really, really good. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this dinner. I'll show you guys it. And then that's it for today, pretty much. So as I said, this is the tuna pasta, just getting it in here. Uh, about 200 grams of pasta or so. It's pretty low calorie pasta. Um, and we got some tuna, a little bit of light mayo, a little bit of cheese in there. And yeah, that's meal number three. Probably eat like a bag of popcorn uh, and that'll be me for the day. I'm trying to up my carbs today just because I'm trying to load for the, the marathon. 
Um, so yeah, pretty much it food wise on the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That was kind of a full day in the life of doing 75 hard. I think in this video, I missed out the reading part, but I generally do that when I'm going to bed. But yeah, it's been a pretty fun challenge. It's kind of hard at the start for the first 20 days or so. It's kind of a struggle, but eventually you just kind of get into it. You get used to it. You kind of just create them habits uh, and become used to all of the tasks daily. And I think even after this, now that it's nearly over, I'm probably going to stick doing most of these things because it's just give me a better quality of life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Again, if you did hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.